Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. Today I'm super excited to share with you a journal kit that I um, purchased from Cheaply Chic. I'll be sure to link the information below in the description box. Um, you can purchase this kit with the journal and without. She offers two size ephemera packs. I purchased mine with the journal. So I'm going to open this. It's so pretty. Um, the kit is called in the journal, My Story. It uses, um, so gosh, what is it called? Simple Stories Wallflower paper. Um, she has this beautiful doily sewn to the front. It's one signature and you can see where she sewed the doily on. It's so pretty, so well done. It's a blank journal, pretty much. Um, and then the ephemera kit that comes with the journaling kit, you use to decorate everything. So I'm going to um, flip through it. So the premise is that, you know, it's to record our story. So there's this beautiful um, avocado dyed papers. So I'm... Um, plastic or glassine bags, a Edith Holden book page, some more avocado dyed paper, so pretty. When you dye with avocado, it comes out pink. That's how you know that it's avocado dyed. Some more blank papers to decorate and journal in. More dyed paper. This is the middle part of the signature. Um, she left the string on it so that you could put some beads or um, other anything else you want to do with that, or you can cut it. And then this is the second half of the signature. Love Edith Holden paper. I have a few books, but I don't rip them apart, which I'm fine with other people doing that. I just, I just can't, I don't have the heart. Um, I do copy them, which is, don't tell anyone. The pages for ephemera. So there's the other half of the bag. And then this is the other half of the um, cute typewriter paper. And yeah, that's the journal. I make things similar, but I thought it would just be fun to purchase a kit um, to, you know, decorate and not make the journal and see how somebody else does things. I always think that's fun. All right, so then we have this cute little ephemera pack in a blue um, like treat bag. Everything coordinates and matches. It's, it's very much pinks, blues, golds. So um, Lynette from Cheaply Chic does a great job. Um, coordinate and everything. I have no idea what that little plastic thing is. I even went back and watched her video and it's not in her kit. I don't know if it got in there by mistake, but we have some journaling cards, tickets, um, some cut aparts from both the um, Simple Stories Wallflower and some Maggie Holmes cut aparts, some guest checks and some paper. It's all themed around this you know, recording your story, my story, love it. And this is the main ephemera pack that you receive with the kit. There are some available, and I believe it's on the second page of her um, web page. The first page shows the different ephemera pack sizes alone, and then um, I thought they were out of the kit, and then when I went to page two, the kit was there. So she made this really cute bookmark, if I can get into the bag. And it has beads on both sides. It um, fits the size of the journal, and then the beads hang down. Again, matching the whole color story of the journal. Uh, next, um, she included this little bottle cap. It has a one inch um, 
opening where if you use a one inch circle punch and cut anything else, it'll fit right in there. And then you put the little plastic covering on the top. What I love about the kit is even if you don't have a one inch punch to cut out whatever you want to put in there, she includes um, one inch circle punches in the kit, which you'll see in a little bit. So she's very thoughtful and really thinks um, these things out. And then you can put a little bit of um, double-sided tape on the back or glue and you can stick it where you want in the journal to decorate. All right, then she includes all these. Um, I thought we were going to the fibers, but it's a cute little glassine bag and a couple gold paper clips. And then um, you get a couple large ones because they are throughout the kit holding holding things together. Here's the fiber pack. You can make tassels. Um, you could hook these onto tags, but it's a nice little variety of fibers. I'm going to make a tassel out of this for the journal, or at least most of it. I love the uh, selection of the different things. So I don't have to go out and buy anything to do that. And then she includes this bull clip. Is that what they're called? I think so. But I can um, attach the tassel on there and then um, attach the um, clip to the journal. You also get this cute little book um, charm. It doesn't fit, and she warned about this onto the little, um, what is that little thing called? But anyhow, it doesn't fit onto that, so you could hook it onto the um, signature uh, strings or, you know, a paper clip, whatever you want to do with that. But she wanted to include the little typewriter. Uh, is it a typewriter or a book? I'm not sure <laughs> at this point. Looking, I'm sorry that I'm voicing over. When I originally recorded this, um, my neighbor was playing some music in the background and it was a little, it was low. And then when I played back the video, you could hear it and Facebook would tag that in a heartbeat. And then I'd, they'd take the video down and I would also get a warning. So um, I didn't want to use that. So I'm voicing over, and I apologize for that if it seems weird for you. I do it occasionally, but not often. So here's another ephemera pack with, of course, the gold paper clip, a pretty, pretty rose postcard, paper doily. I love this gold. Oh, here we go with a flash card. You can alter that. Pretty gold glassine bag um, with the contents in it. It matches the kit perfectly with the gold. Everything coordinates so well. Love it. A mini CD um, pocket. Love this from the library of. You would put this in your books, but I'm going to put it in the front of the journal with my name. A library card and pocket. a little cut apart coin envelope Lynette stamped the first tag with the girl holding her little journal so a couple claim um, checks again the blue matches the color story a pink guest check and then she included a big tag from the Wildflower Paper Collection. All right, next. Uh, a cut apart. I love these little pink tigers on there. Super cute and just some sticky labels. All right, another little ephemera pack with this pretty playing card. Love the little pink bag. Here's the little punch outs she does um, using the extra um, paper from the paper collection. Oh, there's four little hearts. I could always glue 
um, those on the little strings from the middle of the signature, claim check, more pretty um, pink tickets, and then all these little punch outs, and here's two light pink scallop tags. And little tiny claim checks, and then she included three flower stickers. I got some really pretty one. Of course, they would all vary. And a vintage um, stamp. Very pretty, cute for the journal. And here's all the little punch outs that she included. So I want to get all those back into the uh, little bag so I don't lose them in the abyss of my craft room. <laughs> One thing I was super impressed by was um, I got charged shipping and uh, to actually ship it was less and she refunded the difference, which is amazing to me. Love this. Um, Napkin included of roses. You can definitely decoupage with it, cut them out, use glue stick, whatever you want to do. Love to have that. Matches perfectly. She included um, a couple six by six uh, pieces of cardstock from that wildflower, wallflower um, kit. Two of these cute little bags with the polka dots. One of the ephemera kits, um, the two little plastic bags have little flowers on them. They're so pretty. The dots are cute too. A time card, you can alter an envelope with a window, a vintage, a page from a vintage floral book, some um, actual vintage stationery, a page from a rose book. You can cut those out or put the page in there somehow. I can't wait to play around with this kit. She included a poetry page. Mine looks like it's um, some children's poems. Again, I could alter it. I could just, you know, collage with it, whatever. This really cool dictionary page. I love the page I got because of the um, trees on the back. Love it. Another Edith Holton book page. This one's a different texture than I'm used to with her books, um, but not to say that different printings had different, um, you know, use different paper. Super pretty. Is cut from a book. Love it. Here's an extra piece of that typewriter paper. I love all the little letters that fly up from the typewriter. And then a piece of wallpaper. So that's everything that comes in the um, kit with the journal. And um, I just love it. So again, I'll make sure I link everything below so that you can see the different options if you're interested. And uh, it's going to be fun for me to play around with. And again, just another little look at everything in there. And uh, I hope you really enjoyed the video. As always, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Questions and comments below. If you feel so inclined to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope that everybody has a great day.